I'm just doing a citation for your speed. We're going at 80 and a 55. I need to take the tint off the windows. So I just need to sign this white box here. These teenagers have been stopped for speeding, but the passenger, who is just 17, is perplexed. I have a question really quick. Sure. Um, how are we getting a ticket for speeding if we were following you and your lights were not on? Because I was trying to catch up to somebody. But your lights and why were, were you on. following me? You were in, I'm saying you were in front of us and your lights weren't on, so we were going at your speed. So how are we getting a ticket? The video from Facebook was first published by Abaya Israel, former police officer and sheriff's deputy. He runs the YouTube channel, We the People University. So how are we getting a ticket? Because your lights you're are speeding. On, but that means you were as well. That's because I'm doing my job. I'm allowed to do that. Without the lights on? Without the lights on, said the girl. The question about whether police can speed without their lights and flashers on is one of the most common that drivers ask. As we, the People University, has underscored, the public tends to lose respect for police officers who do not follow the same laws and regulations the cops enforce and everybody else. Now, in most states, there is no hard and fast rule that says police must always have their lights and flashers on when speeding. In Michigan, for example, Section 257.603, Part 2 reads, The driver of an authorized emergency vehicle when responding to an emergency call, but not while returning from an emergency call, or when pursuing or apprehending a person who has violated or is violating the law, or is charged with or suspected of violating the law, may exercise the privileges set forth in this section. Part 3. The driver of an authorized emergency vehicle may do any of the following. Park or stand, irrespective of this act. Proceed past a red or stop signal or stop sign, but only after slowing down as may be necessary for safe operation. Exceed the prima facie speed limits so long as he or she does not endanger life or property. Disregard regulations governing direction of movement or turning in a specified direction. In other words, if the officer is on a call, there's no regulation or requirement about lights and flashers. And some police may accelerate towards a speeding driver and only put their flashers on once directly behind that driver. Several traffic cops say that waiting until this moment actually creates fewer distractions for other drivers and is safer than having the lights, flashers, and sirens blaring the entire time. However, if a police officer is not on a call and is simply on patrol, most states require the police to obey speed limits and traffic rules. In the case of the teenagers, the young woman was right to be confused. If the officer was really speeding to catch up with somebody, the officer does not need to have his lights on, but if the cop was simply driving along the highway going 80 in a 55 zone just because and didn't like the kids following him going the same speed, the police officer is a hypocrite who has broken state laws. In general, law enforcement departments and state highway patrol agencies encourage their officers to use flashing lights whenever speeding. And that's smart. For their own safety and reputation, police should not be putting themselves above the law. Unfortunately, some cops think that laws do not apply to them. This young woman was right to call out the traffic cop, and she did it in a manner that was both simple and epic. You were in, I'm saying you were in front of us, and your lights weren't on, so we were going at your speed. So how are we getting a ticket? Because your lights you're were on. speeding. But that means you were as well. That's because I'm doing my job. I'm allowed to do that. Without the lights on? I'm David Schuster. Thanks for joining us.